Hey, yo, 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 people, how are you all getting on? Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be doing a review on the Orca 001 by Tonar. So let's roll the intro. So Tona's brand new and flagship microphone, the 001, is a USB condenser microphone. Okay, peeps, you're probably wondering where the sound is coming from. The sound is only coming from this microphone. It's the Orca 001. It comes with a great shock mount as well as a stand. I've got it on the stand. It's sitting on my table and it's literally less than 10 inches away. And this is what the sound is like. So I've just placed that to my left and it's no more than two hands that would be visible to me. So the actual mic is facing me right Right now for the first portion of the review i'm going to be having it on its own stand later on we're going to be putting it on a boom arm just to see what the sound difference is i'm having the orca 001 going straight into the macbook pro the macbook pro is recording via logic the gain level on the macbook pro is set at around 35 percent and on the orca itself it's set at number seven which also gives you this green led indicator light let's place that back because i don't want to have i don't want to have too much noise in the background let's begin by unboxing this amazing looking mic so the Orca 001 USB microphone comes in this well-packaged box. The box is actually very informative with a lot of information in it, but we'll check that out a bit later. So opening the box, you're met with a very useful manual guide. You also get a boom arm adapter, which is compatible with most standard boom arms in the market. So the adapter is for your own convenience, whether you want to put it on the metal stand that the microphone comes with, or you want to place it onto a boom arm, which we are going to be doing a bit later. You also get this shock mount and it also comes with this metal microphone stand and you also get a threaded usb type a to a type c cable all in all you get everything that is necessary to run this mic and it is a very quick plug and play system you're probably asking yourself how much does this microphone cost at the time of making this video the orca 001 retailed for around the 70 dollar mark now that you've been hearing all the audio placed on the provided stand that comes with the Orca 001, let's go and place it onto a boom arm. So I've taken the Orca 001 off its provided metal stand and I've just put it onto the boom arm. So this is my preferred positioning for mics. I normally have it offset to the left or right at an angled view so I can speak straight through it and that avoids any plosives. So let's go and check some of the amazing features that do come with this microphone. So the Orca 001 does sit on a very heavy metal stand. At the bottom of the stand, the microphone does come with this padding, which does help with any excess movement that the mic might give you during its placement. Another thing I like about the stand that it sits on, it's got the groove cut in there, so that's basically for your cable management. So moving away from the stand, let's have a look at this shock mount. So the microphone actually sits on this shock mount. It is of good quality. Doing a 360 on it, I can tell that uh, it's not gonna give way or break down anytime soon. And on the shock mount you get these red colored bungee ties which hold the mic onto the shock mount itself the build of the microphone is plastic and the mic capsule itself is sitting inside this very sturdy metal mesh grill and even giving it a poke or two i can see that it's very 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 sturdy so on the orca 001 there is a mute button which you cannot miss because it's right at the top here i'm going to count up to 10 and when i get to 4 i'm going to press the mute button and when i get to 7 i'm going to unmute it again let's start the count now one one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the mute button. It's a massive button at the top of the microphone, which I really like if you want to mute it. Actually, it's only a little gentle touch at the top. It's not even a press. So that's the mute button. On the Orca 001, the volume and gain level buttons or switches, if you want to call them, are doubled up with a, an LED indicator. And let me go and show you a bit of that now. So the onboard audio control has an RGB volume indicator. Let me show you this in real time. So I'm gonna take the indicator right down to its minimum, which should also mute the microphone. So let me take it down now. So I'm speaking to you as I'm speaking to you, I'm pressing the buttons. Now the microphone is muted after one more button and I'm gonna mute it now. So basically what I was saying, there was zero volume. So the purple indicator is volume one. Volume two is mixed between the pink and blue. Blue is volume three. And four is a mix of blue and cyan. Number five is cyan. 
Number six is cyan and green. Number seven is green. Number eight is a mixture of green and yellow. Yellow indicates volume nine. Yellow and red indicate volume 10. And the highest volume is 11. And this is what the microphone sounds are like. And the RGB indicator turns red. I'm gonna move it back down to green is my preferred option on this microphone. So just below the volume switches up and down, you get another button. With one button, you can activate the noise cancellation, reduce the ambient noise and record clear sound every time. So let's activate that button now. So I'm speaking to you with the noise cancellation on. I haven't had it on throughout this video, but I've got it on now. It's like being a sound engineer and adding a noise gate on. This is what the audio sounds like with the noise cancellation button on. Let's take it off. So I've switched the noise cancellation button and uh, this is what the audio sounds like. At the bottom of the microphone, you get two ports. The port on the left is your type C port for powering on the device. And onto the right of that, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's for real time monitoring of your audio. On this microphone, you get zero latency monitoring, which is great. Let's see how well the Orca 001 does at rejecting plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I'm gonna do a test with the windscreen on. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Okay, let's go and do a proximity test with the windscreen. This is a proximity test with the Orca 001 with a windshield. This is a proximity test on the Orca 001 by Toner with a windshield. This is a proximity test on the Orca 001 by Toner. This is a proximity test on the Orca 001 by Toner. This is a off rejection test on the Orca 001. I'm about three to four inches away and I'm speaking directly in front of the mic. This is a off rejection test on the Orca 001 and I'm speaking 90 degrees left of the microphone. This is a off rejection test on the Orca 001 and I'm speaking 90 degrees right of the microphone. This is a off rejection test on the Orca 001 and I am speaking on the rear of the mic. For my final test, I'm going to be recording the audio directly onto the Canon camera. Then we're going to switch back to the Orca. So this is a test on the Canon DSLR camera. The sound you're hearing is coming directly from the Canon DSLR camera. Back over to the Orca 001 USB microphone by Toner. And this is what the audio sounds like. Let me give you some of my final thoughts. In between the recording, I have been checking out what the microphone sounds like. And in all fairness, this microphone gives absolutely crisp quality sound. Whether you place the microphone on the provided stand, whether you've got it like me on a boom arm, the microphone just sounds crisp. And even at a certain distance, one of the best features that I've seen in any RGB microphone is the fact that it has that one button noise cancellation system. This one button noise cancellation system that Orca have incorporated into their microphone, it's absolutely amazing. This microphone does absolutely look very, very cool. And I genuinely hope that this video has been of some use in selecting in the right and correct microphone for yourself and that's all you're gonna get from me for today if you haven't already hit that like button or smash it if that's something you're into and if you aren't already subscribed please do i shall check you on my next video